Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard. The ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard uses Intel's latest B660 chipset, supporting all of the latest Intel 12th gen on link processors. Now the main difference between the B660 versus the H670 is with the PCI lanes. The B660 chipset only offers 6 PCI lanes and 8 PCI3 lanes. But it does offer support for DDR4 RAM with speeds of up to DDR4 5000OC. It comes with 6 SATA ports and 2 Hyper M.2 slot for your SSDs as well as 1 uh, M.2 for your Wi-Fi module. It has one PCI 5 x 16 slot and one PCI 4 x 16 slot as well as two uh, PCI 3 times one slot. And for connectivity, it comes with the uh, Dragon 2.5 gigabit LAN as well as the 7.1 HD Nahimic audio. And of course, it comes with all of the ASRock unique features including the Dr. Moss and the Polychrome RGB. Although this motherboard is aimed at the mainstream market with the B660 chipset, I'm still expecting some decent performance. So let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig and see how it performs. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard. Let's have a look inside the box. All right, we have the software setup guide and the Steel Legend postcard. Very nice and also the driver disk next we have the uh, quick installation guide yep all right and here we have the IO shield for your backplate and a keycap yes yeah, the Aladdin keycap we have a pair of SATA cables okay and I think we have one two three four yep four M.2 SSD screws and we have a Steel Legend keyring very nice and finally we have a Velcro straps for your uh, cable management all right let's take a look at the motherboard itself and here we go uh, we have the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard it's very nice it has the uh, black gray cameo design as you can see very nice this motherboard supports all of the uh, latest Intel 12th gen on lake processors on the LG 1700 socket and uh, we're gonna take a look at the top right here we have the 8 pin PCIe power for your motherboard and then we have the heat sink here at the top and also on the side here which covers the IO panel okay also at the top we have uh, pin headers for your CPU cooling a total of uh, one two and three and uh, there are RGB headers as well for your ASRock polychrome sync a total of two and next we have a total of four DDR4 dim slots supporting speeds of up to DDR4 5000 OC and uh, and next we have the 24 pin ATX power connector right there and USB 3 and four SATA ports on the side right there and also additional two more here all right there are more fan headers here and here and uh, a load of uh, other connectors including USB 3 USB 2 and uh, more uh, pinouts for your RGB all right here's the M.2 Wi-Fi module connector we have uh, M.2 SSD connectors right here and also here as well the hyper M.2 right let's have a look at the PCI slots we have one PCI 5 times 16 slot here and also two additional PCI 3 times one slot and one PCIe times 3 16 slot there all right now let's have a look at the uh, IO 
Okay, we'll uh, start on the left here. We have the USB ports and also PS2 keyboard and mouse. There's the HDMI a display port, USB C connector right here. There's also a clear CMOS button, more USB uh, ports, uh, the Dragon 2.5 gigabit LAN, and the array of audio connectors. All right. Okay. So, yeah, it's a very nice board. Has this nice design, the Steel Series design, and uh, yeah, it should perform pretty well. Uh, we're going to be mounting an Intel Core i9 12900KF, uh, old lake processor, the 12th gen, and uh, with some nice DDR4 RAM, as well as one terabyte of PCI4 SSD. So yeah, I'm expecting some decent performance from this board. So um, yeah, let's put this into our test rig and uh, see how it goes. All right, so that was a quick unboxing of the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard. All said and done, I was quite impressed with the overall performance of the ASRock B660 Steel Legend. I originally thought that this motherboard was aimed at the low end budget market, but the performance it offers says otherwise. However, it does lack some of the features that you might find on the more higher end enthusiast boards, such as the diagnostic LEDs, onboard power on and reset buttons, lightning game ports, and possibly a larger IO hood and extra PCIe 4 x 16 slots. Although the B660 has limited PCIe 4 lanes, it's still a very capable chipset and allow manufacturers to produce a more affordable motherboard suitable for the latest Intel 12th gen Odd Lake processors while at the same time supporting DDR4 RAM. I do like the uh, distinctive black, white, silver cameo design of the ASRock Steel Legend series, which I think goes really well with most PC builds. What's more, the LEDs that you get on the ASRock Polychrome RGB Sync is bright, attractive and really makes the board stand out. We used an Intel Core i9 12900KF processor during our tests and we managed to get some really good scores in all of our benchmarks. It produced a Cinebench R23 score of 26,674 multi-core and 2,044 single core. For PC Mark 10, we got a score of 7,949 and a score of 10,428 for Pass Mark 9. For UL's latest Procyon photo editing suite, we got a score of 8,548 and 3,397 for the video editing suite. And finally, for Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got a decent score of 5,371 and 13,289 respectively. If you're after an affordable motherboard based on the B660 chipset and you're not considering CPU overclocking, then the ASRock B660 Steel Legend is definitely worth a look. It offers decent performance and supports all of the latest Intel 12th gen Odd Lake processors from Intel, plus you can use your existing DDR4 RAM. You can check out the full review on our website at funkit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard aimed at the mainstream market and supports all the latest Intel 12th gen Odd Lake processors with support for DDR4 RAM with speeds of up to DDR4 5000 OC. It offers decent performance at a price that's extremely affordable and you can use your existing DDR4 RAM. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.